Easy Cremation Ashes Heart Tutorial video. Hi, I am Hannah Kaminga and today I'm showing you how to make a cremation ashes heart necklace. I am using one of the DIY kits my mama sells on her website, keepsakersupplies.com. There is a link in the description with a link tree in the bio. These are small heart settings and a £30 with a kit to make formation ashes or hair jewellery. That's about $35 US dollars. All you need at home is a teaspoon and a UV lamp. Mama's chains are from £7 but you might already have one at home. In the kit you will get some gloves, label backing paper, sandpaper, a dust mask, UV resin, sparkle mix, a silver, a silver pendant setting, some cocktail sticks and a silicone mold. To make for cremation ashes stone, be sure to wear some gloves. Put, put a small amount of resin in the piece of label backing paper and put a little bit into the mold and a tiny bit of the sparkle mix but if you don't like the colour you can use eyeshadow instead sprinkle a tiny bit of ashes to mix it together into a paste swirl a little bit of, of the sparkly ashes paste into the clear resin and clear resin in the mould but don't but don't stir too much. Cure it under a UV lamp for at least 60 seconds and let it cool down. Repeat this with some more clear resin and the paste and cure it again. Once it's cured, add some more paste in the next layer and, and just a tiny bit of clear resin this time mix them together really well and cure it this layer should cover the stone in in color so you can't see much light coming through anymore cure it and repeat until the mold is full once it's cured let it cool down totally before you take it out if you're enjoying my video please give it a like and comment down below what color mama should include diy kits when it's nice and cold take the stone out of the mold check it and make sure you're happy you can remake it if you're not sure see if it fits in the pendant setting then sand down the edges a little bit if you need to put it in the settings and use the back of the teaspoon to press the to press down the points add the chain and your necklace is finished make sure you don't spray perfume on it and take it off before you have a bath or shower hi my name is hannah kaminga and i have made this necklace for one of my mum's clients Now relax and do some crafting.